And now, a moment with Dr. Stephen M. Stahl, DSM-5, the last DSM. Recently, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association, version 5, has just been released. And you know what? It's going to be the last DSM. The hope is that we go from categorical to dimensional by the time there is maybe never to be, or at least a very different DSM-6. What is categorical? Instead of making categories forever, which is what we've done from DSM-1 through 5, we're going to go to dimensions, which cut across various syndromes. What do I mean by that? Problems concentrating. It's a criterion for major depressive disorder. Look it up. It's a criterion for generalized anxiety disorder. It's a criterion of ADHD, for example, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So problems concentrating is a domain or a dimension that cuts across the current syndromes in the DSM in a different way. And guess what? They correlate much better with a screwed up circuit, an inefficiently functioning circuit, something that has inefficient information processing. You can put your head into a functional magnetic resonance imaging scanner, stress the circuit, and see how efficient the information processing is once that load or stressor is put on that circuit. And uh, inefficient information processing correlates with symptoms. And guess what? If you have problems concentrating, the same circuit is involved whether you have major depression, generalized anxiety disorder, or ADHD. So we're going to pursue symptoms upward from circuits to symptoms to syndromes to possibly which drug works for which symptom with which circuit, as well as downward from the circuit to the proteins and the genes and the biomarkers that regulate that circuit, and that's the future. So we think that the future will be really circuit-based and uh, genetically based. We're not there yet, but we hope that this will be the last DSM and that we'll be there by the time we need a new DSM.